Hello, welcome back to another episode of Craftless, Minecraft on the Xbox One. So I've just been up here where one of my brothers built this mob spawner thing, just tearing it down. And uh, got a good little view of our work in progress over there, our uh, little hotel thing, whatever you want to call it, mansion. And it's still a little far away to be able to see properly, but I was thinking maybe some windows up the top and maybe some vines or something just to fix that back area so it doesn't look so blocky and bland. So we've got to do the roof and um, down the bottom we we're going to do a pool or something. I don't really know. Maybe some trees. Landscape it a little bit. Do that road. And then that's that pretty much done. Um, and I was thinking about future projects. And uh, I was getting some levels from the uh, the XP shop over there. And uh, I was having a lot of drops from the mobs. Because since the last time we were playing, there's been an update. A wonderful update to the game, which uh, now has included horses. Are there any around? I have seen some. There's horses, the donkeys, and the mules, all of that sort of stuff. Um, I'm probably a little bit more excited about some of the other features. We've got beacons now, which I'll be uh, experimenting with those. Oh, there's a horse. Look, straight over there. And... Um, Anyway, so there's a few things that I'm excited about, but also the um, zombies and whatnot, they have armor and carry weapons and all that sort of thing. So, see my wonderful gold armor, which I know gold is completely useless as armor uh, and anything, but um, it dropped it, so I thought it might look pretty nice, so I put the gold on. Um, but I've also got this leather here, and um, I was thinking if I get a lot of different things for um, killing all of these mobs, maybe it wouldn't be a bad idea to, instead of just waste them and throw them away, maybe I could uh, just set up a shop, like a second-hand shop, and uh, just charge a standard price for any item in the shop. Um, so obviously it's going to be broken, worn down stuff, but I mean, it's going to be cheap and whoever's wanting to have some quick gear can quickly buy it and uh, I make profit. So. Another thing you may have noticed is this slime ball, seven of them. There was a little slime just down in the water here. So... I'm thinking that must be, I don't know where it is, but there must be a little bit of a slime, I don't know what they call them, area there somewhere. So I think I might sort of expand that and just make that area flat. So if we can spawn some slimes there, that'd be brilliant because I'm going to need sticky pistons for some of the redstone, um, uh, the redstone weird creation things that I'll come up with sometime. So, anyway, uh, just knocking this down, and then I'm going to continue the, our second part of finishing off that, and uh, we'll see how we go with that, and uh, if there's still some time for some more stuff, then we might have a look at maybe locating the uh, second-hand shop and uh, making a start on that. So, uh, anyway, I'll be right back. Well, would you look at that? It's got a full roof on it now. So uh, I went up and finished off the roof. And if we come around the back, it doesn't look completely terrible now. Um, there is still this big blank spot there. But I put some glass in for windows. I was thinking we'll have some vines or something crawling up the side and uh, whatnot, but I don't particularly want to put a window in here because that's where the stairs come up and it just wouldn't look very nice. 
but um, the roof looks good and I gotta show you this inside um, so I've been a little bit concerned about the rooms see yes yeah, so there's the roof all done I didn't want this to seem very sort of crowded because this is a step up from the tent I don't want you to feel like you don't have any space especially if you're gonna be paying so I got a little bit creative so this one's not done yet I've walled up here with the same color as the roof just because I don't know I thought maybe it looked like it should be like that the roofs that color so whatever anyway rather than putting chests in front of this nice view and cluttering the place up I decided to build up look at this three double chests worth of storage enough for anybody just starting out I had a whole bunch of stairs left over from the roof so I've just used them here and I think it sort of made I don't know look a little bit nicer and then just put the torches back there brighten the world up so let's have a look at this one together do I have enough wood for this Probably not. Let's have a quick look. Got a little crafting bench back here. And I need some sticks. There we go. And what else do I need? I need the chest, but that's a minor detail. Alright, I need half slabs. Whoops, wrong button. Ah, we got a few. So I put it here, I think just because it was in the center. I could be wrong. I don't know. We'll soon find out. Um, so this one here? Yeah, I think it's that one. So yeah, I didn't want it to feel like it was too low either. So you've still got plenty of space. And let's go along here. Fill in all of this. Obviously, don't have enough. Um, get this in here. So, just turning these ones on the side, just for a sort of bit of a detail. And, whoa, fell down. Uh, that, whoa, that's not what we want. Fix that. And. I think, what did I do up the top? Can't remember. It must have been a full block. Yeah, full block up the top. Or oh, two half. Oh, yeah, we've got some full blocks here. And this one here. So, fill the rest of that in, and that's pretty much the storage that we've got going on here. So, the next thing I was thinking, oh no, that did break that. I gotta fix that damn hole in the roof. So, I was thinking, now that we've got this big high ceiling, we want to light it up a bit. I'm thinking some sort of chandelier, perhaps, in the middle of the room. Brighten it up. And, uh, once we've done that... I think it's just the decorating on the outside pretty much and we'll have this thing knocked over not literally so I'll get back to work and uh, I'll let you know when I've made a little bit more progress so you're like me and you're playing Minecraft on the Xbox One or the Xbox 360 and the update has just come out for the horses but you got no idea how to ride this thing you try and put a saddle on it doesn't work 
You try and just jump on it. Doesn't work. What you need to do is give it an apple. Then jump on it. It's going to buck you off. You got to keep getting back on it until it's happy with you. So once you give it that apple, you just keep on the left trigger until you break it in. And then, hopefully, it will eventually like you. Maybe. Ah, see the love hearts? Okay, so from this point, you press Y, you put your saddle on it, and then you can prance around like a crazy person. Not a bad jumper. So, A for the jump, try and get it in the boost section. And, uh, yeah, you're all good. So, this is my first horse. And we shall give her a name. What shall her name be? Let's go with Safira. Safira? Let's do this thing. Not too bad. Maybe not the fastest. Got a lot of health, I see. Um, pretty good jumper. All of the horses are a little bit different. So, this just means that we're going to need to make a little stable for Safira here. Um, the progress with this thing over here. Whoa, haven't done a lot more. I fixed up the roof, the little things that were being buggy, and uh, did the thing on the other side. So, anyway, just wanted to show you that horse thing. And uh, I'll, I think if you have a lead, you can tie the horse up somewhere. Maybe. Um, anyway, I think for now, there isn't anything in here. Ow, a little bit of suffocation damage. Uh, should be able to just, whoops, wrong button. Leave Sephira in here. Uh, actually, what I'd do, just because there's been some glitching going on and everything, I will take the saddle. Because the saddle, I keep pressing the wrong thumbstick, the saddle is quite valuable because you can't make them, well you can't at least yet, um, so we'll just keep Sophia in there for now, the town hall, because it's not really being used for anything else at the moment, don't even have the notice boards up, but we'll put Sophia in there and hopefully she stays there, and uh, Anyway, I'll continue on this build and be right back. How you doing, Bruce? Scott's not home at the moment. Would you like to uh, rent a room over in the house over there? Mansion? It's, it's, it's a fairly good price. I don't know how much it is yet, but... It's well worth it. Do you want to come have a look? Come on, let's go have a look. No? It's really nice. Fine, whatever. Okay, so I've got a bit of an idea of what I want to do out the back here. So I'm doing a bit of a patio deck sort of thing uh, with a nice little glass um, rail. Just so there's somewhere nice to sit out and look at the nice view of the ocean. Looks like a swamp, doesn't it? With all those lily pads. I think it is a swamp. It's with all the vines. Still a nice view. Anyway, so um, let's put some of that in there. What I've got is I'm going to make that all wood. Whoops. And then, yeah, hmm, 
I've got a couple of options here. Now I can continue this all the way around and it can be a deck all the way around like from here to over here. And then I would have to do like a built-in sort of um, stairway that goes down somewhere. Or I could just have it go to there and have a separate staircase come straight down. So then it's either going to be there or under there. Look at all that dirt falling down. And then I'll have a couple of posts. Probably not this material, but... Yeah, see, I'm not sure what I'm doing, but... If we have something like that... Those don't look too bad as posts. They're, I was originally thinking fences, but the fin fences might be a bit too thin. Um... So we have this area underneath which is a nice little shaded area where I was thinking of putting a little pool or something like you would see at a little resort or something. Uh, so maybe a pool under there and yeah, just a nice little beach. Everyone can play and whatnot. So I think that's where I'm going with that at the moment. But yeah, we'll, uh, I think the stairs will look best if they just come straight down. So that's that part of that coming along. Um, and I think I mentioned before, oh, I haven't mentioned that, but I finished this one. So it's exactly the same as on the other side. So both rooms are exactly the same, just different views. I think this view is probably a little nicer because you got the view over the town and the beach but uh, this view over here it's not too bad either because you still get a view of the beach and uh, at the moment this nice pristine farmland <laughs> um, so obviously the town will expand out here eventually so there will be something else to look out over there um, and exactly the same up here so that's nice and I've added this chandelier so I did say I was going to put a chandelier in here for some extra lighting um, I think this worked the best I, w I could have tried iron bars to see what it looked like but I didn't think it was going to match that well so anyway um, there we go just some fences and uh, some torches on top I think it lights the place up and looks pretty good uh, just got the little reception desk there and a couch there, but I don't like the wood couch. I'm, I'm going to change that. I was just putting in the couch so I knew where some stuff could go. Um, still think I need to put some vines or something out here. So anyway, I'll uh, continue on this and see how we go. How's Sophia doing? Whoa, where are you, Sophia? Are you hiding? Where have you gone? Safira! So, show you what I've done. Not a great deal, just a bit of landscaping. Look at this. Nice, right? Yeah, that's what that's what we like. Cool. So that's starting to get a bit of shape about it. It's starting to make this look a little less ugly. And, uh, yeah, so I was thinking cobblestone down here. Whoops. Great placing. Um, so, yeah, I just sort of did that. And I changed these to fences. I just wanted to make it look a bit like it was, I don't know, enclosed a little without completely breaking it up. And, oh, there's the death trap down there. We don't want to associate ourselves with any of that. Oh, it's all right. I'll just uh, cover straight over the top. Actually, I was going to put a pool in here, wasn't I? Hmm. Yes, well, that could be interesting. We'll see how it goes. Oh, I'm going to die here. Something's going to 
be evil and shoot me or blow up or do something. Look, there is a torch down there. So we should be okay, hopefully. We'll see how we go. Okay, get rid of all of that. And we're going to have to enclose this. I didn't know what I wanted the bottom of the pool to be. Um, I guess we could just go with cobble. Um, hmm. Yeah, I'm going to have to replace all of that. Oh, well. Uh, oh, no, I don't didn't need it there. Idiot. Anyway, whatever. Uh, let's do it with the stone pickaxe. I know it's a bit slower, but um, at least we get... Oh, I've got plenty of cobblestone. What am I talking about? Don't even know anymore. Uh, get rid of it. Well, that's a bit faster. Oh, look, there's some coal there. Should probably take that. Never hurts to get a bit of coal. One of the resources that are generally fairly valuable at the start of the game and then you don't care so much about later because you sort of got a bit of it, but you will run out of it after a while, so I'll just quickly mine all of this up and you know what, I can do it like this and then just break it down later. Oh, that's going to make it a different block again. My inventory is just full of rubbish. Oh, get rid of all of that. Okay, give me that. if I do it like that. Okay, let's go through here and fill all of this in. i got plenty of cobble, we're not even worried. Let's do this. Uh-huh, uh-huh. And wonderful. All done. Fixed. Ah, oh, no. Making a ma Oh, I don't want to break that. I want to break that. There we go. Okay, so that's where our little lap pool looking thing's going to be. Uh, let's dig this wall out. And dig. Come on. Let's do it. Let's do it. Oh, it's going to break, isn't it? Damn it. Ah. Oh. Let's go quickly make another one. It's going to be faster than me doing it by hand. Hopefully. And that, I will take another stone shovel. Oh, jeez, come on. You need to put your stuff away. I get rid of the sticks. I'll grab them again later. Uh, change this now before we walk down there and there's a bunch of stuff that we pick up by accident. Oh, hello, how are you doing? Are you okay? Okay, fair enough. Uh, calm down. Blocks have gone crazy since the update, I think. Uh, there we go, and dig all of that out. Wonderful. Okay. Now, put all of this in here. I need to cut that out. Yeah, this will look alright. It'll. Oh, I ran out, so I started picking up the dirt. Stupid thing. Okay, get rid of that. Get, get rid of that. Um, yeah, that'll do. Okay, back at, oh, making so many mistakes, just not paying attention. Let's do this. Up there, cut this down, and get rid of these few little ones as well. And we're going to need some torches along the wall somewhere for now. Until we can get some glowstone and all that sort of thing, maybe we'll put that in the pool. Um, oh yeah, down the bottom as well. Uh-huh. It's not a very deep pool. I only want it one. Maybe I want it two. So you can actually swim in it. Yeah, let's go two deep. Now uh, we're going to go in the damn monster enclosure. Not looking forward to that. Ah, oh, stupid gravel. Breaking my pickaxe. Clean this thing. Oh, jeez, you scared the crap out of me. What's up, buddy? You okay? I'm not. I had a damn heart attack. Give me the XP. I want the other stuff, too. I don't want to go down into your hellhole. Now look at all the torches around it. Why are you still living? Uh, I don't think I picked up the arrow. Oh, yeah, I picked up the arrows. It's all good. Okay. 
Let's put some. Uh, let's just do it. Let's do it. Okay. Wow. You can see how I go when I'm around mobs. Scares the jeebus out of me. That's all good. It's all good. I'm good at this game. I don't even need to worry about those sorts of things anymore. Uh, put that in there. And it's. Oh, gee. That was bone there. I don't even care. And see you later. Never have to deal with you again. I think I've got an entrance. Oh, come on. Uh, I've got an entrance somewhere that I know of. Um, how to get down there. Um, if I ever need to make that skeleton spawner a farm thing. For whatever reason. Um. That's gravel. I haven't been placing gravel, have I? No. No. I just missed it because it looks pretty much the same. Ah, uh, okay. That's all stone. We fill this in. We need one point that's a bit lower, I suppose, so you can sort of step out, even though you can swim out, but we're going to make it kid friendly. Um, so let's go this end because then I don't have to dig all that stuff out. <laughs> Just being lazy. Oh, that's crap. Damn it. Let's do it. Here we go. It's happening. It's happening. It's happening. Oh, that's not gravel. Just the last few that I placed, I guess. Wonderful. Okay. Now, does that look cozy or what? It looks very bland in the same color I know. I don't want to know, but I know. Let's do it there and there, maybe. And maybe this is going to be way off center, isn't it? Yep, it is, isn't it? What do we got here? One, two, and on this side, we've only got one. So that should be two. And, uh. Darn it! There is no center. What do we got? That one as well. Ow, oh, damn it. There we go. How's that look? Wonderful? Brilliant. Okay. So let's go here and here. And there we go. I think we add some water to this. I was freaking out the whole time thinking it was nearly night time. It is nearly night time, but it wasn't before. Okay, let's empty this bucket. Grab some more water. Empty this bucket. And the process continues until it's full, which will be hopefully not too long of a process. But I think we've got a cool little outdoor area here um, I think we need some plants just to add a bit of color and then um, that looks a bit funny it's better uh, some plants some greenery all that sort of thing and that's pretty much done I might extend the beach just add some sand there instead of that grass but pretty much that's all of it for now. Um, I'll come back when I've done the finishing touches and I'll show you what it turned out like. So, see you soon. Safira, is that you? What are you doing? What are you doing all the way over here? What have you done? You don't love me anymore? What did I do wrong? I'm sorry. You know what? I think I'm finally done. Well, close enough to done anyway. There could be some little finishing touches that need to happen, but... Let's have a look. So, I've put a bit of a fence around the front of it just to 
I don't know, section it off a little. So I put these iron bars up here just to um, add a little bit more detail. So it's called the Grand, and one room is worth 10 diamonds. So if you want to live here, you better start finding your diamonds, and 10 diamonds is the cost. So we come in the driveway, and I've put this nice little water feature here. A couple of trees and flowers around the front. Okay, so the Grand, bed and breakfast. Okay, so I've just changed the reception area, made a little bit of a uh, kitchen sort of area. I didn't change this couch in the end because I looked at the stairs and the only one that would look nicer I think would be the courts and stuff that I'm not going to the nether again. Right, let's keep inside. So what I've done, obviously chandeliers there still, I've got flowers on both sides. So one red and one yellow. So there's a red room and the yellow room. Just to determine which room is which. Uh, so red flower here for the red room. And I've changed up here two furnaces instead of the other chest. I think there's still plenty of room with the two, st uh, the two chests. Um, but we needed furnaces because obviously need to smelt stuff down because I don't accept my payment in raw sources most of the time. And if you want to cook any food that you may catch or something. So same in here and then the yellow flower there. So not a... Oh, well done. Not a very big change in here, but that's all tidied up a little bit. And now at the back we've got our little deck. Some vines running down here have gone a bit wild. I sort of um, had them a little bit differently and they've just taken over the world as they do. And a little seat out here to sit on of an afternoon. Watch the moon rise because the sun sets on that side. Uh, edges just to block off and show that this is the boundary. We've got this swimming pool. And haven't really changed anything else out here. Uh, the beach is just the beach, and that's just about it. Um, a few little details and things took a while in the end. I wasn't quite sure how I wanted the fence to be out the front here. Um, but it's it's okay. I'm happy enough with it. little hedge around it, and uh, there you go. That is the grand bed and breakfast um, a bit of a long one to do that one but uh, I guess you've just got to make sure that you plan a little bit uh, if you go into it without a plan it's going to take a little bit longer to make your build um, so there you go I hope you've enjoyed and uh, next episode we'll have a look at doing the second hand shop which I was talking about earlier um, because this is uh, obviously going a bit longer than I thought. So until next time, have a great day. Hey, Bruce, how's your day been? Just just looking at the weaponsmith there? Oh, yeah. Uh, don't get too close to that thing. You know, it's... Oh! Oh, no. What? What have I done? Bruce, will you ever come back? I'll see you on the other side, buddy.